Hi, this is Mrs. Ziegler, and I'm going to go through how to complete the FET tug of war forces. So in this slide, you are going to do six scenarios. So in the second slide here, it tells you that you're going to go to this web link. So this is one of the links that is already in your Schoology. Would you click when you click on this? It'll bring you to this website that looks like this. You're going to click on net force so that once you click it, it will bring up the simulation that you are going to use. So once you get to the simulation, it looks like this. You're going to click where it says here values so that when you are doing the FET, it will show you your value. So here, so this is what we just did. Then we're going to go to the first slide. So the first slide, we have a scenario here in which it tells you that you're going to put the same number of people on each side in which the forces are balanced. Then you're going to calculate the net force indicated in the direction and then take a screenshot of your scenario and then post it in this picture. You're going to post whatever you do in your FET. So it says you're going to take two people and put them so that it is the same amount of force on both sides. Then you're going to click go to see what happens. Here you have a left force and a right force that 100 newtons each. So what you're going to do is here where it says net force, you would put zero newtons. And then here you would say no motion because there was no movement when you did it, then you're going to take a screenshot of this. If you do not know how to do a capture screen on your Chromebook, it is shift control. And then it's the show screen, which is the button on the very top that has um, a whole bunch of lines. If you don't know what I'm saying, ask me in class, or you can actually Google how to take a screenshot with um, whatever computer you have. So if you have um, Windows, you would actually use your snippet tool, but you're going to take a screenshot of what you have and put it here. And then you're going to do the, go to the next scenario and do the same thing. Again, there's a total of six scenarios. When you're finished, again, you can either go to file and then download the Microsoft version of your assignment or the easiest way. So you don't have to actually download it is to click share. Then it'll come up where you're going to change the sharing settings. So here where it says click to anyone with the link, I'll click there. This will give anyone who has this link an opportunity to view it, but not do any changes to it. So you'll click copy. It'll copy the link and then you will paste that into the submission, either on a document or um, in the message in order for you to submit. Again, if you have any questions, make sure you reach out.